Welcome to the channel. Thank you for checking out this video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Lightroom edit on one of my photos and you're going to follow along with me. Let's jump straight into it. So the first thing we do is import the photo that we want. So I'm going to go up here to the top, click library, click import down here in the bottom left. And then what you're going to do is find the location of your photos. In my case, it's in my T drive, but it'll be somewhere else on yours and it will be Lightroom follow along. Now we've got a couple of here selected. I'm going to uncheck them first and then choose the one I want. Now you can click on it and view it full size. And this is the one I want to import in. So we're going to click include in import and click import bottom right hand corner. We wait for the files to import and we go up here to develop and start developing. So the first thing I do always is go to lens correction just make sure our profile is ticked on and remove chromatic aberrations. And what this does is remove any distortion from the lens. As you can see here, I'm using a Sony 70 to 350 mil. So if we untick it, you'll see the distortion back from the lens. And there we go. So always make sure you make sure that's clicked on the profile. Close down your lens correction. Now we're gonna work through these tabs on the right hand side, one at a time and try to enhance this photo as best as possible. So let's go to our basic tab and we're gonna start by changing our profile from Adobe Color to Adobe Standard. It's just gonna flatten the image and give us a good starting point. With Adobe Color, it boosts the colors up a little bit, which we don't really want. Now, if we had sync pure white in our image, we could use our white selector to select it, but we don't have anything white. So I'm just gonna gauge it by eye what I think's going on here. Now we use the temperature and tint sliders to adjust the color temperature. We raise the temperature to the right on the temp. Obviously we warm, warm the image. And if we lower it, we cool the image. And we can double click at any point and return it back to normal. We can also use the tint slider. We can move it to the left, it adds a bit of green, or we add a bit of magenta going the other way. Double click again, resets it. Now in my opinion, it's a little bit too warm. Just going to lower it very, very slightly on the temperature, and I'm just going to raise the magenta to about 23. And in my opinion, that looks perfect. Next, we're going to go down to a tone panel, and we're going to have a look at adjusting some of these exposure, contrast, highlight, shadows, etc., to really enhance this picture. If we go off the histogram at the top here. Uh, you can see that most of our tones in our image are to the right hand side, which means it's quite bright, but that's because the image is in a frosty field or snowy field there. So I've got to be aware of that. If I up the exposure, you can see that our histogram moves along and really want it about midpoint, but I'm gonna be careful here. I'm just gonna raise it slightly and then maybe come back to that in a minute. Contrast, I'm gonna leave that at zero at the minute. Now we're gonna start working on our highlights, shadows, whites, and black to add that contrast. So the highlight slider, we're gonna start with the highlight slider. Now the highlight slider is all the bright areas in our images or bright tones in our images. So if we start to raise it, all the bright areas will get increased or we can lower the bright areas and make them darker. Now our shadows are all the darker areas in our image and by raising it, we brighten them up. If you look on his nodes here, so if we raise it, you can see that his nose is becoming brighter, or we can lower it to darken them areas. Now, a good way of doing this, normally if you've got a good a daylight picture, you lower the shadows, and then what happens is that brings out a little bit more detail in your image. For example, in the trees in the background here, I'm just gonna lower it to a point where I'm happy with it, about 52. Now we're going to raise the shadows to bring out the detail in them shadows. Again, I'm just doing it by eye. I'm just seeing there's a point at which it seems to work and that's what I'm looking for. So about 43 on the shadows, pretty easy so far. Next, we move on to our whites and blacks and you can do the left shift trick here. Hold down left shift on your keyboard and double click the slider and Lightroom will automatically adjust it for you to the correct exposure. Now our blacks, we can do exactly the same. Hold down left shift, double click on the slider and Lightroom will automatically adjust it for us to the correct setting. And there we go. So that's looking perfect already. 
Next, we go down to our presence. We've got texture, clarity, and dehaze. I want to be careful with these ones. Now, the texture will bring out the detail, the finer detail on the sheet's fur, all the finer detail. So I'm going to raise that until I feel it's pulling it through. If you watch the fur on the sheep or ram here, you can see that his fur is really becoming more present and you're getting all that texture coming through. So about plus 35, I'm happy there. Now the clarity is going to alter the outline or all the bigger details in our image. So I'm going to raise the clarity. Well, be careful. They actually raise the clarity. It's going to add darkness and contrast to some of the image. So you've got to be very careful here. If you look around the face of the ram, as we raise it, it's making it even darker. So I'm just going to raise it by plus seven just to add a very slight bit of clarity to it. And the dehaze here, if I raise it up, it's going to remove the haze from the picture. If I lower it, it's going to add haze. Now, I want to be very careful with the dehaze. I love the haze in the background, so I've got to be careful that I don't overkill it here. And you can see we're removing that haze, and it kind of distracts from the picture. So I'm going to double click it. I'm just going to try lowering it slightly. I think I'm going to leave that at naught. And that's the thing you've got to remember with Lightroom. You have to everything's personal taste there's no right way or wrong way to use lightroom it's down to personal preference so at the minute i'm going to leave the haze as it is now the saturation and vo vibrancy here at the bottom there's always a little bit of confusion over this now the saturation will boost all the strong colors in your image and the vibrance will increase all the colors in your image so if i raise the vibrance all the colors equally in the image begin to boost if I raise the saturation, only the stronger colors will begin to increase. On this image, I might just desaturate it slightly to about minus 10 and maybe just very slightly remove some of the vibrance from it as well, say minus six. That's looking really good there. Now I may remove some of the yellows and browns from the image in a minute also in our color grading. But that's the basic tab done. Next, we move on to the detail. We miss out tone curve, HSL, color grading. We go to detail. And this is, I'm gonna press Control plus on my keyboard, zoom into the RAM. And all I'm gonna do is raise the sharpening until I'm happy with the amount of sharpening being added to the image. If you whack it up too much, it's gonna look over processed. So be very careful here. Make sure you get it to a point where you're happy and leave it at that. Try and find that it'll be, it'll switch over to the point that you're happy with. And then what you want to do is just lower it ever so slightly. So it's about 89 in this case. That's looking really, really good. Now the radius, what you're going to do is hold down left alt. What this is going to do is stretch a sheet across your image and on your subject. Then you're going to raise the slider until only the outline of your subject is present. In this case, it's around about 2.0. Detail is the same with the sheet. Hold down left alt, raise the detail. That's around 54. And the masking, at the minute, the whole image, I press control minus, get it back. The whole image is being sharpened. Now, obviously we don't need to sharpen the whole image. We don't need the background to be sharpened. So we're gonna hold down left alt, and raise the slider until only the outlines of our subject is present. In this case, it's round about 80. And there we go. So only the outline of our subject, our subject is the only thing where that sharpening is taking place. And as you can see, it's looking absolutely fantastic. Now noise reduction, this image has got no noise in it. The ISO was so low that there is no noise. So we don't need to add any noise reduction. What we can do though is press Y on our keyboard and compare it to the original. So there's the original on the left and there's the altered version on the right. It's looking absolutely fantastic. Press Y again on your keyboard. It brings you back to carry on editing. Now the image is almost there. With a tone curve HSL and color grading, sometimes you don't have to go through them stages to alter your pictures. It's important to realize just because we've got all these tools in Lightroom, we don't have to use them all the time. So all I'm going to do is go into HSL now. And with our saturation and luminance and hue, 
I'm just going to mess around with the yellows and oranges just to see if I can enhance the image a little bit. Now obviously saturation, we can remove the saturation from the yellows. I'm also going to mess around with, like I say, with the hue and luminance. It's about taking the time, moving each slider until you feel it's right. So what I'll do is follow along and I'll do this really quickly. And there we go. So we've done all the HSL now. Very, very easy to do. Just work your way through each of the sliders and see how it affects your images. And that is looking absolutely fantastic. Now, the one last thing that I may do is add a little bit of vignette into this image. Let's have a look. If you move the vignette in the left, you add a darker vignette. Move it to the right, you get a softer white vignette. And in this particular case, the white vignette works really well with the white background. So I'm going to raise it slightly to the right, which goes against my normal way of adding a vignette. And a midpoint and roundness and feather, you just move them around until you're happy with how it looks, the vignette. And there we go, the image is complete. So this has taken, what, 10 minutes to do? And let's have a look at the original by pressing Y on the keyboard. There's our original and there's our copy, altered edited copy. Let's have a look at them now, full size. So there you go, hope you really got something from this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below saying that you got something from it. Uh, if you like my work and want to follow along with more Lightroom tutorials or you're interested in cameras, cameras even, make sure you subscribe to my channel because that's all I'm about and we'll catch up in the next video. See you soon guys. Thanks for watching.